India's neighbors are also watching this closely, especially Pakistan and China. And guess what? They're enjoying it. Chinese state media has waded into Indian politics. They have a lot of strong opinions. The Global Times says economic reforms will be tough. They also say that this win looks like a loss. China Daily said something similar. They called it a stunning blow to Modi's image. I must say it's a bit surprising because these Chinese journalists have never really covered a real democracy. Yet they have so much to say. Also look at the Dawn's headlines. It's the biggest English newspaper in Pakistan. Here's what it said, and I'm quoting, India defeats hate. Modi left at the mercy of pro-Muslim allies. Interesting choice of words. India has a history of coalition governments. It's not about mercy. It's about working together. And Pakistan should know this. They've had coalition government since 1947. Ruling party plus the army. On second thoughts, Maybe that explains the misconception. Same with Western media. They too can't contain their glee. Look at the Bloomberg headline. Modi just learned hype can only carry you so far. The New York Times has a similar one. Narendra Modi fell to earth after making it all about himself. What explains these sharp reactions? Broadly, two things. One is the obvious bias. Elections elsewhere will get vanilla headlines. The sharp ones are reserved for India. The second is bad blood. Modi's government regularly clashed with Western media, whether it was on biased reportage or critical commentary or unfair accusations. So this time, they saw a chance to hit back. It's classic Western press. Not many policy implications, though. But Pakistan and China are different. Let's look at China first. A lot of their coverage focused on one thing, and that is India's economy. New Delhi's mission is to expand its manufacturing capacity to become a factory to the world. But China state media says that will have to wait. Let me quote the Global Times. Given Modi's Bharatiya Janata Party failed to secure an outright majority of seats, it will be hard for the Prime Minister to push economic reform but likely to play the card of nationalism. This is from the Global Times. Now, two things to note here. One, China expects India to go slow on reforms. And two, they expect an aggressive foreign policy. Maybe more efforts to take on China. And I guess this was expected. Beijing's goal is to spread perceptions, bad perceptions about India. That's what they want to spread. Look at this article in the China Daily. It calls India the graveyard of foreign firms. A lot of these have been published since the last year. And the goal is quite simple, to scare foreign companies and investors. We know China's economy is sluggish. Their GDP is projected to grow by 5% this year. India's GDP is expected to grow by close to 7%. Many investors are also fleeing China. In February, foreign direct investment plunged to a 30-year low in China. It was 82% lower than 2022. And where are these investors going? To a lot of places like Vietnam and India. So what does China do? Run smear campaigns on the Indian reform path. That's what they're trying to do. Pakistan's agenda is different. They know that it's pointless to compare economies, so they are targeting India's secular credentials, which is not a new strategy. Islamabad has made a habit of doing this, especially on global platforms. The question is, how should India respond to all of this? We say it's quite simple. Prove them wrong. China feels a coalition will slow down India's reform, so the ball is now in the government's court. It must show investors that nothing has changed. Coalition or not, India is open for business. First Post reports from the world's second largest continent. Hello, I'm Alison Lagrange. A very warm welcome from Durban, South Africa. We get you the news and the newsmakers from Africa. From elections to climate change to innovations and opportunities. As the world's attention shifts, we report from Africa, the heart of the Global South. Join me every weekday live on First Post.